to your research business daily report sponsored today and this week by Socratic Technologies, where proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make confident business decisions. We hope that those of you who had President's Day off had a good holiday. Simon Chadwick told SMR's Research World about the quote-unquote galactic $1.7 billion in private sector and venture capital investment in market research, information, and analytics during 2012. Cambiar's second annual capital funding index, which gathered this information, makes the case that if you follow the money, you can determine where future growth in the insight sector is going to arise. So here are a few revealing pieces of data from Cambiar. Traditional market research attracted only one and a half million dollars out of the 1.7 billion dollars. And analytics accounted for 72 percent or just over one billion dollars of that new capital. The bulk of remaining funds went into platforms, although $178 million was channeled into mobile research. 79% of all announced investments went into U.S. firms, the big five winners being Qualtrics, $70 million, Quora, $50 million, Radium One, $50 million, Quirky, $68 million, and Mu Sigma, $108 million. Next. Remember last week, we summarized the results of an OVUM study that showed that consumers in 11 countries said they would truly like to cut the flow of their personal information and that they're actually looking for ways to do so. Well, those sentiments were expressed before a leaked video that has come out that demonstrates a new social media data tool from American security firm Raytheon. It's called Rapid Information Overlay Technology, or RIOT for short. It was shared with the U.S. government back in 2010 and uses social media traces to profile people's activities map their contacts, and predict their future activities. Riot profiles consumers based on their shared social media information on Facebook, Twitter, Goala, and Foursquare, much of which, incidentally, individuals can control but rarely bother to do. Moving on, I found an interesting anecdote from this past weekend's funeral for Jack Jones, one of the founders of market research in Ireland and the father of that country's political polling. In the eulogy for his father, Barry Jones quoted Jack's voiced reasons for leaving the army where he was a captain to join A.C. Nielsen in Dublin. Barry said that over the years, Jack Jones had explained, quote, market research is to business what military intelligence is to the defense forces, end of quote. Finally, the FBI arrested and charged former Rothstein Tauber controller Thomas Toure with wire fraud, alleging he wrote $1.2 million in company checks to himself in between 2010 and 2012. It's also possible that Toure has embezzled additional funds from his employer that is still being investigated. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Socratic Technologies where proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so you can make confident business decisions. Do yourself a favor, check out Socratic's link underneath this video, and have a great research day. Oh, and one more thing, join us again tomorrow.